to the United States now, which has made great strides in its campaign to vaccinate people against COVID-19. More than 35% of the population is now fully immunized. But to really beat the pandemic, it needs to reach herd immunity. Experts say that that goal could be out of reach in the U.S., in part due to persistent vaccine hesitancy. Now, DW's Carolina Chimoy traveled to the southern state of Mississippi, currently in last place for vaccinations, to find out more about what is stopping people from getting their shots. There are over 30 vaccination sites in Jackson, Mississippi, a city of 160,000 residents. One of the locations is at the State University site. Empty chairs and an awaiting staff shape the seat. They have 250 doses of the vaccine available today. Sometimes we have to waste them. And, and that's a shame because we know that um, there are many more people that need to be vaccinated. Mississippi is last in the United States in COVID-19 vaccinations. Only 26 percent of the state's population is fully vaccinated. Some have changed their mind, but vaccine hesitancy still poses a major problem. I was very hesitant, but once I thought about everything, kind of prayed about it and kind of th gave it some thought, I felt like this was the most responsible thing to do. Be safe with my family and people around me, and I work, on a lot of, I work around a lot of patients every day, so. At Jackson Hintz Health Center, Dr. Chapman and her team offer daily vaccines for free, with no appointment required. But also at this site, the traffic of patients remains low. We find in, in the South that uh, a lot of conservative whites are not getting it, and then a lot of the minority young is not getting. And we try to just give them more and more education. Even some health workers are hesitant, like Barbara Patrick, who eventually was convinced. Would you like the Moderna, the Pfizer, or the Johnson & Johnson? As a health worker, she was offered the vaccine in January, but didn't want to be the first in line. Oh, that wasn't bad. <laughs> it was not that I was anti, you know, vaccination, but my hesitant was because I wanted to see what the outcome of others would be first. With every shot of the vaccine, the risk of the spread returning dramatically decreases, but this is still not enough. The city of Jackson has decided that if people don't attend the vaccination centers, they are going to bring the vaccines into their communities. In a mobile clinic packed with vaccines and supplies, the health workers drive four to five times a week to the suburbs. The goal is to make it as convenient as possible for people to get their vaccine. Good morning, how are you doing? Okay. Today it's a church. After two hours, only two members of the community come in to get their shots. That's it? Yes, sir. I work at night, and it's very convenient for when we come in the community in the day so I can come in and take my uh, vaccine shot. This time, there are 100 vaccine doses available, a much-needed tool and wanted around the globe, but demand here is quite low. Some are still hesitant, but uh, there are some who have barriers like transportation. We don't require appointments, so it makes it more convenient. But hesitancy is not only about convenience. Maybe they're trying to use uh, people of color to get the vaccine, to really do some research. Uh, that's one of the things even I thought at first. Facts and statistics convinced her that this is the only way to return to normal also in their church. And here are some of the major developments in the pandemic. The U.S. will start vaccinating children aged between 12 and 15 with the BioNTech Pfizer vaccine today after the Center for Disease Control found the jab to be safe and effective in adolescents. The U.S. state of Ohio has announced a weekly lottery system to entice people to get COVID-19 jabs. And a weekly $1 million cash prize and full university scholarships are up for grabs for anyone who gets the vaccine. Plus, Thailand reported its highest daily number of new coronavirus cases on Thursday. More than half of the nearly 5,000 new cases were found in two Bangkok prisons.